Hello everyone, Kalina here again with my reaction videos of Argyle Fump's Everything Wrong with the Nancy Drew Games. This is The Haunting of Castle Malloy. There are spoilers. Be sure to check out Argyle Fump in the playlist link down below and give them a thumbs up on the videos that you find entertaining. So here we go. Here we go. It's gone. Haunting is written in all caps for no apparent reason. Title. Kyler looks hideous in her wedding invitation. Oh. Once again, Nancy travels overseas and forgets to bring money with her. <laughs> Nancy's driving on the right-hand side of the road, even though it's illegal to do that in Ireland. Uh, oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay. And I yeah. think I see the gates. Nancy says she sees the castle gates five seconds before the gates appear on screen. I know, I agree Nancy with that. Nancy sees the castle gates, but doesn't bother to slow down. Uh, Nancy I holds know. her phone in the left hand, yet knocks on the castle door with her right hand. Oh, well. Is she left-handed <laughs> or right-handed? I don't know, because her hands are invisible. Nancy had a touchscreen <laughs> GPS in the previous game. Now she has a flip phone. Why did she downgrade? Ooh, uh, well, Why no. Ooh, ooh. Oh, good point. Because if she's going to be using a calling card when she has a cell phone, you'd figure that the flip phone would have been like a, a burner phone that you would use only for international trips. But yeah, it's inconsistent with the other Nancy Drew games. So I, I, that's a good question. Would you bring a calling card with you when you have a cell phone? It's almost like Nancy knew ahead of time her phone would break. <laughs> Why did the Banshee run in front of Nancy's car anyway? That never gets explained. Nancy uh, yeah, I mean, the character is kind of eccentric, or maybe just trying to shoo her away. I don't know. You're right. It doesn't explain. She's wearing the exact same clothes as Jane Pendlin. Right uh... at the start of the game, we have a sheep near the archway, which is impossible because the gate to the sheep pen is closed. I'm wondering if that sheep belongs to someone else, or maybe uh, Denal let the sheep back in? Cars in the ditch by the gate! Conveniently located ditch. Yeah. Down the road to the inn, then. Dude, Baylor is at least a minute's drive away. You expect her to walk that far? <laughs> Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. Nancy tells Denal that she's in trouble, and his first thought is to steal her car keys. I left the keys in the car. Why would you leave your keys in the car, Nancy? Right? Please talk to Kyler. She's sleeping. Where? There's no bed in Kyler's room. For that matter, there's nowhere for Nancy to sleep. If she hadn't been distracted by the mystery, she probably would have had to sleep in the car. Yeah, that's a good point. And lay out a blanket in front of the fireplace and go to sleep like a dog. The doors are unlocked. There is no reason Nancy can't open the doors and go inside herself. That'd be rude. Kyler doesn't care that Nancy breaks her window. Unless Nancy is secretly 15 feet tall, there is no way she can look through a second story window at this angle. Oh well. He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. Kyler actually believes this. Yeah, Kyler has she, she has hope. She has hope. Three different turtleneck sweaters, which are identical except for the color. <laughs> I'm scared to see this woman's closet. <laughs> Sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. Kyler is crazy. Well, no, she's not crazy because she actually does hear his voice. So I spent living with you, your dad, and Hannah. And Kyler lists all the people she likes, but who she didn't invite to the wedding. Mm. One-sided wedding programs. Mm. Matt stopped making programs when he was three away from finishing. There are two programs per page and only ten guests at the wedding, so that means he did two programs and then stopped. How lazy is this guy? <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? Nancy willingly turns herself into a chore slave for the rest of the game. Uh, that's also um, typical for the maid of honor to ask to help out as much as possible. Uh, the maid of honor does do a lot of like tedious work or grunt work or anything to help the bride along, especially to take a load off her back. So. It makes sense that Nancy offers so kindly like that. Perhaps you should give Alan a call. 0044-020-7946-0481. Kyler has memorized a 15-digit phone number. Yeah, I mean, back in the day we had to measure, memorize <clears throat> our uh, library cards, card numbers. <laughs> no one notices these lights besides for Nancy. Alan Payne talks for two minutes about how Matt started fights with everyone else. Some best man he is. I know. For a bar that's full of people, that place sure looks empty. Yeah. The bar is non-alcoholic, but there are wine bottles in the background. 
Do they say wine? They could be sparkling cider. Uh, actually, it was an ESRB thing. You cannot mention wine or alcoholic beverages of any kind in a game that is rated E for everyone, unless you wanted it to be like T for teen or M for mature. The tutorial for playing Mixmade is longer than the actual mini game. And to save time, I draw little pictures instead of writing out their names. That does not save time. We're some sprite. Uh, but it is a uh, multilingual friendly by having pictures instead of words. In spunky last to lend poor Seamus a hand. Is is he hitting on me? Denal's hmm? elbow goes through his glass Ooh. like it's not even there. <gasps> the amount of liquid in Denal's mug never goes down. We went through all that trouble to make him a crow's nest, and he never even drinks it. What a Are you sure that's just not the coloration of the mug? That's how it looks on the outside? Maybe we can't really see the inside? Jerk! The boyfriend stealer is named Minky McNabb. Sounds like she was named by Lazy McCantwright. It's a pun. No, seriously, imagine going through high school with a name like Minky McNabb. It's no wonder she changed her name to Deirdre Shannon. This puzzle. Nancy doesn't think to pick up multiple rings at the same time. That's not the rule of the Nancy game. Nancy doesn't think to put any of the rings on the table that's right next to her. There is no good reason for this puzzle to serve as a lantern battery. Yeah. Denal has spent the past 50 yeah. years cleaning up Castle Malloy. Denal is bad at his job. I agree. Who decided to put a weight inside a fortune-telling machine? There is a giant <laughs> hole where the wall should be, but Kit is not cold in the slightest. Speaking of keeping warm, uh, why does Kit put the cot so far away from the fireplace? Yeah, good point. Kit. How come you sound so American? Because hiring an Irishman would have cost money. <laughs> Kit brings this photo to Kyler's wedding and doesn't understand why people think that's weird. So now we can talk. Yeah, now we can talk. Oh, hey, actually, you might want to take a look at this first. Kit promises to tell you the truth about his fight with Matt once you solve the seating chart puzzle. Then he dodges the conversation completely and starts talking about a leprechaun <laughs> book. <laughs> Kyler's wedding list includes past culprits who should be in jail and therefore are unable to attend the wedding. Uh, could be just similar names. It doesn't say what their last names are. The correct solution places Nancy next to Lori Gerard. Imagine how awkward that dinner conversation it's not would be. Gerard. The game expects players to be able to solve the leprechaun puzzle on their own. I'm pretty sure crows don't get that close to humans in real life. Uh, it's a pet crow, so maybe. <laughs> sure, Kyler occasionally moves from her chair, but she only does it off screen when nobody else is looking. It saves an animation. Why does Nancy need to get the buttons here? She should still be able to push the triggers in the wall without those buttons. Mm -hmm. This hidden passageway is cool, but at the end of the game, Matt says he fell down a hole in here. I don't see any holes. Oh, good point. Backwards into the passage, trying to get away from it. And the next thing I knew, I was falling through a hole in the floor. Fortunately, I only fell about two meters. Matt claims he fell four feet, yet ended up in the hidden tunnel system underneath the castle. Uh, hang on. Two meters, that's like six feet, I think. Unless I'm mistaken. But yeah, good point about falling backwards into a hole. It doesn't seem like that is even there in the fireplace. That's impossible to do from the second floor. The hidden tunnel system is nowhere near the bedroom where Matt disappeared. Yeah. Hey, Castle Malloy has a third floor. Maybe we should have gone there at some point. That would have been nice. Yeah, I mean, the stairs stop going up there. So, And I guess there's nothing of importance to go up. And look at that's too bad. Where's the bathroom in this place, anyway? <laughs> Someone set up a long, complicated trail of clues for Nancy to follow, but we never learn who did it. Uh, we can presume it has to do with, uh... What's the Banshee's name? Her and her dad. Was it Fiona? Seems weird for her to go through all that trouble just to kidnap Nancy. The bog crossing puzzle is super long. Yeah. Why are there a ton of flies in this cage? What are they attracted to? You think <laughs> they would be attracted to the herbs that are three feet away? Maybe. Nancy but... is incapable of looking at the sheep doll before getting a doll sorting puzzle with the sheep on it. Oh, well, Crazy homeless yeah. lady has a jet pack. I know. How random is that? Man. Fiona's been using a jet pack here for 50 years, but no one has seen her once besides Nancy. Denal tells Nancy to collect a sheep, but doesn't tell her how to get through the ridiculous gate. Rude. Gates don't work like that in real life. Good thing it's a Nancy Drew game. Nancy opens the gate and leaves it open for a long time, yet none of the sheep escape. Kit leaves these drawings on the ground. 
Kit is a litter bug. Yeah. Also, Kit was on the far side of the sheep pen, which means he got through the gate and somehow closed it after himself, so Nancy would have to solve the gate puzzle. Kit is a jerk. Yeah. It takes Nancy three seconds to find Matt's luggage in Kit's area, yet Kit claims he has no idea it was there. Either Kit is bad at searching, or he's a liar. It should be noted that liar. nobody besides Nancy bothers to search for Matt. Oh, um, yeah. Definitely over! The fight between Kit and Kyler is probably the most interesting part of the game, so of course it's muffled, so we can't hear anything. Oh, not fair, I know. The um runes puzzle. Yeah. Kyler forces Nancy to find a bunch of flowers for a bouquet. The bouquet is never used for anything, and you don't even have to put the flowers in a vase. It is literally just ten minutes of busy work without any purpose. Uh, but it does make sense for the wedding. The one area that you only visit once to get flowers. How are you supposed to know where it is? Yeah, you just keep looking around. The other area that you only visit once in order to get flowers. How are you supposed to know where it is? Hot spots. Backtracking in the gear puzzle is harder than it should be since you can't remove pieces in any order you want. Uh. You don't need to print out the jetpack instructions correctly in order to start the jetpack. Oh, Nancy doesn't nice. tell anyone about her jetpack. Fiona's. Well, I wouldn't either. You know how insane that story would sound? Yeah, a Banshee's been. Uh... Floating around on the jetpack and I happen to find one, but I'm going to keep it to myself because I want to use it. The only person to have visited the tower room in decades, yet there's not one speck of dust anywhere. She must be really good at cleaning. Maybe. Sheep shearing. Mohawk sheep is funny, but why would a shearing machine dye wool purple? I know, someone had some serious humor with this puzzle. I think this doll is supposed to be me. If that's what you look like, Nancy, you need a new wardrobe. <laughs> The book puzzle. Well... Nancy's jetpack flies for hours on end. Unless she goes too far to the north, then it magically runs out of fuel. Yeah. Nancy can jetpack past Kyler's window all day, and Kyler doesn't notice a thing. It looks like hey, she's above it. Hey, what fuels these jetpacks anyway? Is it gasoline? Does Fiona occasionally visit a gas station to get her jetpack fueled up? How does she pay for that? <laughs> what does Fiona eat? Does she have a vegetable garden that we never got to see? Yes, because she alludes to it from feeding him turnips and potatoes or whatever. We can see Matt's shoulders from the opening shot, but in all the other shots, he's too short for us to see his shoulders. Either he jumped up just for that one scene, or Nancy is talking to Matt while sitting down. <laughs> this was Brennan Malloy's working lab, right? Why did he fill it with puzzles to make it harder for him to work? The chemicals <laughs> puzzle! I know the chemicals puzzle. It's the bane of my existence. Controller in the chemicals puzzle has five settings. You never use the lowest setting to solve the challenge. It is there just so people can accidentally grip a chemical too tightly and die. Yeah. Not all of these chemicals have explosive properties. No, that's Second true. Chance calls it a chemical spill when it's clearly a chemical explosion. Well, you spilled it and then caused an explosion. Yeah. Considering how easy it is to die in the chemicals puzzle, they need at least 50 more second chance screens. Superhero is one word. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to criticize the grammar in the second chance scenes, it's worth pointing out that Doe has an apostrophe. <laughs> Instead of detangling these wires, Nancy lets them stay crossed just to make this puzzle more difficult. Nancy is way too close to the rocket when it goes up. She should be dead right now. Nancy doesn't need to launch the rocket successfully, right? She just needs to launch a rocket to open the silo doors. Wouldn't it be easier if she just faked a rocket launch? Uh. How does Fiona open the silo doors from the outside? Still can't accept the fact that the strange wail I kept hearing wasn't a banshee, but an old siren that Matt kept inadvertently setting off down in the tunnels. I suppose that's why the subtitles say eerie wailing instead of siren sounding. That would have been a spoiler. Uh, Denal sleeps through this. Yeah. When did Denal get a cane? I don't think it's a cane. I think it's like a rake or something. In the ending scenes, Kit is played by Fongo from the previous game. Bad Photoshop. Kit is played by Fongo? No, it doesn't look like it to me. Uh, I'm sorry, artists. The Photoshop could have been fixed a little bit. Fortunately for them, Brendan's intricate fuel system has them completely and hopelessly stumped. A crazy banshee lady can figure out the jetpack's fuel system, but government experts? Nope, no way. Let me finish with my most nitpicky problem. Uh. In Phantom of Venice, the Nancy Drew logo is synced with the whoosh sound, like this. 
this game, they reuse the theme music, but they change the timing on the logo so the whoosh occurs on a blank screen. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Stuck doing chores for Connor now. <laughs> okay, I see your point. This game had a lot of um, issues that I would count as uh, design issues that could have been thought out a little bit better. But, I mean, this game is kind of kooky as it is uh, now. But, um, yeah. Oi, okay. Check out the next video, you guys, for... What's the next one? Uh, ransom? Okay. Oh dear goodness, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, you guys. <laughs> mm.